Today's lesson seems very simple on the surface, and yet if you're able to grasp it, it has a life-changing message that will change you on a daily basis, and that is this. There is always more, more than you can perceive of in your human mind at the moment. There is a limitless power, a limitless love in God. In Ephesians 1, verse 18 and 19, it says, I pray also that you will know God's power is very great for those who believe. God's power is greater than you can even conceive of, than I can conceive of. It is greater and more profound. It has been said our ways may seem good to us. We may even enjoy moderate success. But when we do the work of God in our own ways, we will never be able to see the power of God in what we do. Now that may seem like a negative statement. That if I do the work of God, I'll never be able to see the power of God. Well, not in its entirety. I believe this and I have seen this over and over again. Sometimes when you're doing something guided by God, you won't know the real reason why it's so important. I remember years ago, I used to do a video ministry on the old cassette videos and send them out on a subscription basis from my ministry. It was costly. And I even hid from the board how much cost it was because I was guided that it was important. Do you know it wasn't till 10 years later when I was visiting ministries around the country? One time, for instance, I went to a ministry with a wonderful building, a great congregation, and they said, we formed this church around your videos. We would get together as a study group, we would watch your videos, and then the church grew up from there. Well... It was something that I couldn't have imagined, that I couldn't have foreseen, and yet I believe that God did all along. Great things can happen when we allow God to do it. God reveals God's ways because there is a power that comes through God's guidance that we may only be able to perceive a little bit of in the moment, but over time, well, we can sense the limitlessness far beyond the comprehension of our mortal minds. If we can't fully understand something in the beginning, all we have to do in faith is to remind ourselves there is always more. And when we do that, we can praise God for it. When we worship God with faith and assurance, when we place God at the absolute center of our lives, we invite God's love into our hearts, and in turn, we grow to love God more deeply as we sense God's love for us. St. Augustine said this, he said, I love you, Lord, not doubtingly, but with absolute certainty. Your word beat upon my heart until I fell in love with you. And now the universe and everything in it tells me to love you more. Well, as you begin to sense over time the incredible power of what God is doing in the more of your life, well, you will, you will do nothing less than this. Let me pray with you. Dear God, I know that there is always more. Let me be a part of the more. Let me have a higher purpose than I have had up till now. I am willing to follow in your ways, in your steps, in your guidance. I'm willing to say the words that you want me to say, to act in the way you want me to act. 
I'm willing to rise above my human self to become more, to do more, and to be more. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, and I thank God. Amen.